The weekend, it's often a busy time for Colorado's marijuana shops. Tonight, Denver police have a warning about thieves targeting those customers. Denver 7's Lance Hernandez explains why shops are limited on what they can do to try to protect people. People are poor right now and they're doing crazy things. Miguel Lopez says he's been threatened before while out and about on Broadway. So when he goes to a dispensary, he pays attention to his surroundings. Police want more people to do the same thing. They issued this advisory Friday about thieves targeting customers as they leave marijuana shops, saying that suspects have approached and snatched the purchased items from their hands and fled the area. We just try to watch our cameras, you know. Wayne Reibolt is an HR manager at Local Product of Colorado. He says theft has not been a problem there. He says staff is trained to keep an eye on things inside and out. During the COVID outbreak, it's been a little easier because it's one in, one out, so it's definitely easier to watch the premises and stuff. But it's just being aware of your surroundings. Lopez says laws treat marijuana shops and liquor stores differently. Liquor stores, you know, they carry guns and they have, you know, ways to defend themselves, but the marijuana laws really kind of prohibit marijuana dispensaries from defending themselves. Police say it may be advisable for customers to conceal their purchases by placing them into a pocket or purse when possible. Visible deterrents such as security personnel, cameras, and adequately lit egress paths and parking areas also serve as safety measures. Lopez says he always takes extra steps. Don't be alone. Be aware of your surroundings. Know your locations in case you need to call for help. Do what's ever within legal means to carry protection uh, legally uh, and, you know, just be vigilant. Lance Hernandez, Denver 7.